welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, for this week's video I'm going to be trying some of the vegan items from like popular fast food chains. I have seen quite a few people doing this video and I have been quite intrigued to try it myself. Obviously if you've watched some of my other like food videos you'll know that I am not vegan, I'm pretty much far from it. So I thought it'd be quite interesting to try some of the vegan options and just kind of see what they're like and see what they're like in comparison to like the normal, well not normal but like the non-vegan options that I would normally go for. So yeah I'm quite looking forward to giving everything a go. I picked four different places that I'm going to order from. So I'm going to do KFC, Nando's, Subway and Domino's. I'm going to do KFC and Nando's today and then I'll do Subway and Domino's tomorrow. And yeah, like I'm just like really excited to, like I said, give them a try and see what they're like. Okay, so first up we have got the KFC vegan burger. Um, this is the only sort of vegan option that KFC have on their menu and I think it's still pretty new. I think like, they only brought it out maybe a couple of months ago. So I I'm excited to give it a try. It does look pretty good. I mean, looking at it, you probably just kind of looks like a standard sort of chicken burger, doesn't it? So on the website, it says, an original recipe corn fillet coated in our famous 11 herbs and spices in a sesame bun with fresh lettuce and vegan mayo. Now I have had corn chicken before, so, and I, I mean, it, it tastes quite nice. So I've got high hopes for it. I've never had vegan mayo before, so it'll be interesting to see what that's like. Okay, looks like it's gonna be quite messy. Right. Hmm. I mean, it tastes like a KFC. The mayo is actually really nice. I wasn't kind of sure what it was going to be like but it just tastes like normal mayonnaise to be fair. So this is what it looks like inside. Um, you can tell like by looking at like the inside that it's not normal chicken but I mean like it does the job to be fair. I want to try and get a bit of the chicken burger without like the rest just to taste that on its own. It does kind of have the same sort of texture as chicken it's not quite as juicy, I don't think, but like it still tastes really, really nice. And I feel like if someone gave you this and you had a blindfold on and you just ate it, I don't think you'd be able, I don't think straight away you'd be like, that's not chicken. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's a really good substitute. I would say overall, I'm pretty impressed with the KFC vegan burger. I would give it maybe like a seven and a half out of ten I think because it tastes really good it doesn't really taste like that different like you wouldn't like automatically think that it's a vegan burger I definitely think that KFC have done a really good job with it so it's a little bit later on now and I'm gonna order my Nando's I'm just gonna order on delivery so the vegan stuff at Nando's is pretty new I think I think they've got a couple of different options to choose from um, so let's have a look. Okay, so it's called the Grey Imitator, which is obviously like, because it's imitating chicken. They've got the Grey Imitator Burger, the Grey Imitator Wrap, and the Grey Imitator Pitta. I think I'm going to go for a wrap, because whenever I get an Ando's, I get a wrap, so it's kind of going to be the easiest to like, compare. So we'll go for the wrap. Judging by the website, um, if it'll focus, it looks like pretty similar to like a normal wrap. Doesn't really look that different. So the little description thing on delivery says our peri plant strips are made from pea protein but taste just like our famous peri peri chicken. Served with plant based garlic peronies, lettuce and chilli jam. I think this is going to be quite good. Um, to be honest I don't really think it's going to taste that much different um, but we will see. So I'm going to order that and then do I want size? Garlic bread, peri chips. I was just gonna order the wrap, but I feel like now I'm here, I'm really, really tempted by the sides. Oh, go on. 
So here we go. So we've got the garlic bread, the parry chips, and then the main event, the vegan wrap. I mean, judging by first look, I'm not really that impressed. There's hardly any like chicken, well, vegan chicken in there. It literally just looks like a lettuce wrap. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. So there is like a little bit more of the vegan chicken, like once you get into it. The texture is like very, very different to chicken in my opinion. There's a lot of like little crunchy bits in it as well. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I don't know if it's just because I'm so used to how the normal wraps taste that this just tastes like so different no i really don't think i'm a fan of that texture is really like soft and it's quite spongy which kind of puts me off a little bit god they've gone to town on that peri peri seasoning haven't they spicy but yeah, like it's just kind of like very like soft and spongy, which I don't really like. And the flavour is just not really, like it doesn't taste of anything, but it tastes different. Let me try and get like a little bit of this chickeny stuff out so you can see. So that's what it looks like. I mean, it doesn't really look that different to chicken, but if you like can see, like it's very like spongy. God, I've made such a mess here. It's a no from me. I had high expectations. And I've just not lived up to it. So, I'm gonna give the vegan Nando's probably like a four. Because I would not order that again. Like with a vegan KFC burger. Like I would happily sit and eat that. But this, like I've not enjoyed. A little bit disappointed by Nando's. Okay, okay so it's a couple of days later now and I'm gonna be filming the second half of this video. So for lunch today we have got vegan Subway. They did have a couple of options so they had one that was like a chicken sub I think and then they also had the meatless meatball marinara which is what I've gone for. If I was normally getting a Subway I would order the meat feast and um, which has obviously got meatballs on it so i thought that the meatless meatball marinara would kind of be like the most similar to what i would normally order so it'd be like the easiest to compare it smells good let's have a look okay i would show you but as you can see it's a bit messy so we'll, we'll leave that for now but basically i got the meatball marinara on hearty italian bread um vegan cheese and I got the garlic aioli as a sauce. A lot of their sauces are actually vegan to be fair, which I was quite surprised at. Um, but I thought the garlic might go nice with the meatballs and then I just got some lettuce on there as well. And I also noticed that they did a vegan cookie. So I picked one of those up to try as well. Um, I've never had a vegan cookie, I don't think. So I thought it would be interesting to give that a try as well. It's just um, double chocolate. So yeah, let's get stuck. In. I just got a six inch because I was scared that I wasn't gonna like it. I've not managed to get a meatball yet, but that sauce is really nice, that garlic aioli. So first bite of the meatball and it tastes pretty similar. Like to be honest, I really don't think there's much difference between this one and like the normal meatballs. So this is what it looks like close up. Um, looks pretty similar to a standard meatball. I'm really happy with this. I can't quite taste the cheese. Um, 
to be fair subway are often quite stingy on the cheese so not quite sure what i think of that because i can't really taste it but these meatballs are good i have heard quite a lot of good things about this so i was quite excited to try it everyone that i've sort of spoken to that i've tried this have said that like it's really really good and you wouldn't tell the difference and to be honest like i totally agree they put way too much sauce on it at least it tastes nice i guess i think out of everything that i've tried so far this one is a hundred percent the best obviously i wasn't really a fan of the nando's and the kfc like it was really nice but this is just like so so good like you would not be able to tell the difference at all the garlic sauce is really really good it's like proper creamy and like i just i genuinely cannot believe that like this is vegan like it's honestly so good i wish i'd got a foot long now i am gonna give the meatless meatball marinara from subway i think i'm actually gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it was genuinely like really really good and i think that's the only thing that i've had so far that i would actually like order instead of like the normal version like with the kfc like said it was really nice but i probably wouldn't order that over like actual chicken whereas with that like you genuinely could not tell the difference so i guess we'll try the vegan cookie now and um, this is the only flavor that they had that was vegan it's double chocolate the normal subway cookies are really really good i'm hoping that this is going to be just as nice oh it's all melted mm. again this is really really good like you would not automatically think like oh that's a vegan cookie like it just tastes like a normal cookie it is so nice i think i'm gonna give the cookie a 10 out of 10 as well because like you just cannot fault it so yeah massive massive thumbs up for subway like i cannot believe how good that was subway have definitely understood the assignment and yeah i would definitely recommend trying that if you've not already because really really good so it's a little bit later now and i'm gonna order my tea so i'm gonna go for domino's tonight which i think is like the one that i'm sort of most excited for but also most nervous for because i really like pizza and like i'm excited to see what like a vegan pizza is like like i've personally never had vegan pizza before so i'm interested to see what it's going to be like but i'm also nervous because i've heard that it's difficult to find a good vegan cheese and I just kind of feel like if I don't like the cheese, then it's just going to completely ruin the pizza. Um, so yeah, a bit nervous, but excited. It has also been absolutely boiling today. So like the last thing I want to be doing is eating a Domino's, but here we are. So I'm on the website now and they've got quite a few different options. So they've got this chicken one here, medium and large. They've got a margarita and then they've also got the veggie supreme i think i might go for the chicken one because i do like the i don't know what it's called the chicken sweet corn and mushroom one that domino's do I'm not sure what it's called but i might just try and recreate that in like a vegan form um i think i'm gonna go for medium rather than large just because if i don't like it then it's not as much waste so I'm gonna go for the chicken. Okay, so what does it come with? Vegan cheese, green and red peppers, vegan soya strips and onions. So I don't like peppers and I don't like onions. So I'm gonna take those off and swap them for mushrooms and sweet corn. And I'm gonna go for a barbecue base as well because if ever I order a Domino's, it's normally barbecue base. So that's what I am gonna go for. Okay, so we've got the goods. They did actually send um, a garlic and herb dip with the pizza. Um, I didn't think they would because this isn't vegan. So that's interesting that they sent a non-vegan dip with a vegan pizza. But anyways, let's get it open and see what it's looking like. So moment of truth. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. I think the pizza itself looks pretty nice. But the chicken bits i don't know it just kind of looks the same sort of like stuff that the 
Nando's chicken was and obviously I wasn't really a fan of that but I mean we'll give it a try and see how it is so first slice It's not too bad. Can definitely tell the difference to a normal one. Overall, it's not too bad though. It is the cheese that's the main difference. Um, it's kind of got a bit of a different texture. It's like softer and sort of creamier, if that makes sense. I feel like sometimes like cheese when it melts it kind of goes a bit oily but this stuff is a little bit drier if you get what I mean. I'm gonna try a bit of this chicken on its own and see what it's like. So it's definitely like a lot chewier than normal chicken but like it tastes quite nice and the texture is definitely a lot better than the stuff that they use at Nando's. Like it is quite chewy, but it's not as like spongy. This is definitely better than I was expecting. Would I order this over a normal Domino's pizza? Definitely not. But like, I'd quite happily sit and eat the rest of this and like enjoy it, you know what I mean? So I just thought I would give you a little close up of the pizza. Um, so obviously like you can see the cheese is not quite like as melted as normal stuff and then the chicken It does kind of look like normal chicken really. I don't know like the nutritional Information for them and stuff, but this pizza Feels like it's healthier than a normal one. I feel like a lot of the time with Domino's Like they can be quite greasy and like heavy and it feels like you kind of feel a bit horrible afterwards because like you're so full and it's just like ugh. But with this like it feels a lot lighter and it's not as oily. So I don't know if it is healthier but it definitely feels a lot healthier. The cheese, I was kind of worried about the cheese not liking it but it tastes really nice to be fair. Like, like I said it's like quite like creamy and soft and it kind of like sticks to your teeth a little bit. But like it tastes really nice. It does just kind of taste like normal cheese, to be fair. And yeah, like, I am, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10. Because, well, for starters, it's much, much better than what I expected. Like, I didn't really have that high expectations for it. And I do really like it. But I don't think... Would I order this again? I mean, maybe. Like, I am enjoying it so far. So maybe I'll give it an 8.5. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with 8.5 because I feel like it deserves it. Like, they have done a really good job. So yeah, well done, Domino's. 8.5 out of 10 for you. So those are the four vegan fast food things that I'm going to be trying. Obviously there are other places that I could order from and stuff. So maybe I'll do another video at some point. Let me know if you want to see it. But yeah, I've actually like quite enjoyed it. Like everything has, well most things have been a lot better than what I expected and it's been nice to try some new things as well. My favourite thing was definitely the Subway. Like that was so, so good. I would 100% order that again. So Subway was definitely at the top. And then I would say second place was probably Domino's because that was a lot, lot better than what I expected and I did really enjoy it. Third place would be the KFC. Again, it was really nice and I would probably, I would happily eat it again. And then last place was definitely the Nando's, like, I just was not a fan of that at all. Like, the texture was just off and it did taste a little bit funny as well. So, yeah, would not recommend the vegan Nando's. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!